Hello everybody, my name is King and welcome back to a brand new video. I know it has been quite a long time since I have done a video and I'm completely sorry about that. Um, life just got in the way, you know? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's all the explanation I have for you there. But without further ado, I think we should just get back into it. To explain later this week, I will probably be making or should be posting something by the time this video comes out i should be at least editing my review for the first coffee talk because i have a long awaited review when it comes to that game so after that review you know it's it's only right or after that playthrough it's only right that we get into the second game now this game came out april 23rd 2023 and i know i am a year late like quite almost literally a year late since playing this game i'd rather be late than never play it in the first place and you know i think that's kind of fair so without any further ado um let's get into the game a game by toge productions seattle 2023 okay so this takes place in 2023 I remember the last game came out in January of 2020, so I, it's pretty current in the times of the one they're coming out. So when playing the games later on, I know they're probably going to be a little dated, but 2023 is only a year and that shouldn't be, you know, that shouldn't be much. A city of enduring loneliness. Oh, wow. Okay, so a lot has changed within the last year. A place where dreamers, the realists, and the weary are striving to thrive, and not just to survive. It is a time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive. Kind of cryptic. I cannot say those names. It is a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness. For the right to be acknowledged in society rife with judgment. Acceptance is a battle and identity is a luxury they just began to grasp. Hmm. So, uh, we're still currently dealing with the topics of, like, racism. You know, for, for a game that I, I don't know how to put this, like, I, I always want to separate the content, like, from real life. Because I know a lot of people bow, battle with uh, stuff like this. And I know I used to battle with stuff like this. But, you know, I, I guess art reflects life or life reflects art i don't really know how the saying goes but whatever <laughs> many who are feeling lost turn to their screens and find their footing and the world becomes fast-paced with increased connectivity that's true whether for work or pleasure for a little encouragement or simply to escape. It is unclear whether or not it helps or further isolates them. Yeah, that is also true. Social media is kind of like a double-edged sword right now, you know? Uh, there's a lot of brain rotting and a lot of like disconnect that's happening um, from physical interaction kind of like wally -E where everybody's just on their screens sitting in the chairs instead of like actually interacting with one another and that's like a scary future to think about but at the same time we also have uh, people who are trying to not confirm or conform to those uh societal standards or what's considered normal in society now you know as some look for answers off the beaten path, 
seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights. In the night blooming coffee shop standing in between the rainy streets, they'd find a small respite through a cup of warm drink. And these are their stories. Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. All I can say is that the quality of this game has upped tenfold. It looks aesthetic, uh, more aesthetically pleasing than the first game. I love the first game, don't get me wrong, but this has quite a um, nice little upgrade compared to the first game. So I'm liking it so far. All right, let's look at the evening whispers. Um, we are the same character. Uh, if you guys, I don't want to spoil it, but you know, if you guys want to watch it, you can go and watch it. But basically, we are a time traveler from the future, from and we are one of the children from one of the characters, uh, specifically the alien. And we made this coffee shop and kind of just are like listening to the stories while also kind of just uh, prefixating the timeline to make sure everything is okay. Okay, Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. Massive job loss uh, as large companies move out of state. What's next? Seattle's West Precinct police are losing a record number of officers in January. Oh wow. Social experiment. Skirting between entertainment and menace. We could click the coffee? Oh, okay, never mind. I guess this will go on for a while. Officer Georgie. Those of you again. Go check it out. Officer Georgie, one of my favorite characters. He lays down the law pretty nicely. He's one of the best cops out here. Welcome. Evening, King. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. I'd say the power lines. Probably. Yeah. What about them? Oh, that's a concern. Power has kept going on and off all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. That bad, eh? Sorry. I'll take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. I guess our resident rider, Miss Green-Haired Fairy, isn't here tonight. You mean Freya? The one and only. Unless she's changed her hair color, then my bad. <laughs> Still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh, why? She's currently on a research trip for a new book. <gasps> no, I wanted to see Freya. She's one of my favorite characters. She would come in every day. She was a regular. That's so? At least that's what she told me. That's too bad. The evenings won't be the same without her. No kidding. I admit, it's been pretty quiet around here. But it's good for her to escape the city once in a while. To have some time to herself. That is also true. Also, wait, before we continue, let's check the phone first. Okay, let's see what we know how to make. We know how to make... Coffee latte, cappuccino, dark chocolate, chocolate, espresso, green tea latte, and matcha. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of the drink recipes. I could go and unlock them. Um, 
but I am pretty sure a lot of the drink recipes are the same. They, they added some new stuff because these uh, these are new. These two are new at least. I've never seen these tabs before. So that must be hibiscus. Um, I don't maybe a flower another flower another I don't know we'll see Toma to chill Georgie okay we have to unlock all their Toma to chill profiles again I want to 100% uh, this game like I'm doing with the other one oh here we go stories Echo Shell. I woke up so refreshed today. I think it's going to be a good day. Light. Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't do the um, light things. What to do? Like. At least you can like them, though. Too hard to lay? Not a problem. Look at the art. It looks beautiful. That's Freya, by the way. The green-haired Freya that Georgie's talking about. Hide. A lot of the old characters are here. Good morning. Let's do our best today. That's Rachel, who is a Neko Mimi. Or a... A Neko, if you will. Like a cat. A uh, humanoid creature. A vampire, Mr. Hyde, the model. Before to get a new place to live, you just need to go to said place, have a look, and pay the cash. Now, all the forms you'll need to fill abysmal. The chief said that these days, youngsters read and listen to infos and advice more seriously in this format. So here I am, kiddos. Lua, who is a succubus, George is a human, Bailey's is an elf. I'm gonna be checking on some catering service I mentioned last week and tonight. So, Ice Bailey's, do not be late. Oh, that's a direct call out. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, I think we caught up on everything. This is what's playing right now. Okay, free trial will start tomorrow. Okay, I think we're gonna do three days at least. Maybe, we'll see. I don't know how many days are in this game. Um, I know it. the uh, game takes over a span of two months, but let's continue. <laughs> Whoa. Ah! Not looking too good, huh? Yeah, but I've already notified the city lights department. They said they monitored the area just in case. Don't worry, King. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. Your lighter? Uh huh. Got it from my grandfather. A lucky charm of sorts. Never failed us in a pinch, not even once. Unless you need it to light up for longer than 10 seconds. And you're on your own. It's a thought that counts. Don't cops usually carry flashlights head around anyway? Oh, we do. But where's the thrill in that? Sounds like you need a vacation too. Do I ever. Oh, the coffee machine's working. Goodness, finally. Thanks for waiting. I can take your order now. Great. I'm already done for the day, so no more coffee for me. Oh, no midnight patrol then. Just for tonight. Right to that. In that case, would you like to sample our new tea selection instead? We have hibiscus and blue pea available. Oh, so that's what that other leaf was for. Hibiscus and blue what? Uh, blue pea. It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. Butter, hibiscus and butterflies, there you go. The color is really pretty. 
Huh. I had no idea you offered alternative stuff, King. No judgment here, just saying. Alternative what? Oh. It's P, as in P pots. Oh. And not whatever else you thought it was. <laughs> Got it. Whoops. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Just remember my golden rule. Of course, no dairy for Officer Georgie. Correct. I'm sure you have all the info written down on your phone already. I want to say yes, but... Some of my notes went missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago. Whoops. Better write down everything you can't remember then. Speaking of remembering, Fred actually let me something for you. That's so, alright. Then, I'll have one of your new teas. I'll leave the choice up to you. Just keep it simple. Okay. New tea. Let's go to the brew pad. It's undiscovered. Okay, no milk. Let's try hibiscus because it calms the nerve down. Some uh, hibiscus still in hibiscus. Let's just go with straight hibiscus. Not too sweet, not too bitter. Because I don't think we have honey or sugar yet. Hibiscus tea. Better give Freya stuff to Officer Georgie now before I forget. Let's give the item. Ooh, this is new. Um, I thought we can. Oh, can't do much with it. Now we can serve it. Nice. Oh, a postcard, eh? Is she bragging at is she bragging at me or something? Oh. Hmm. Huh. What is it? It appears she left me a message. What does it say? Nothing for you to worry about. Okay. Anyway, thanks for this. Give him my regards. You're welcome, and I will. Enjoy. What's this? What? Yes, it's a piping cup of wine. Hey, mold wine exists, you know. And it's served hot. That's true. I stand corrected. Just a heads up, it's a bit tart. Roger that. Damn, it is sour. Would you like some sugar to take the edge off? Nah, it's alright. Tastes familiar though. I swear I had it before. It's traditionally sweet and it's served with cold and ice. Or you boil it with ginger or cinnamon for remedies. I should have put cinnamon. I thought it was gonna be too like bitter if I put cinnamon in it. Yeah. Remember guys, I'm doing no research going into this, so we're all- I'm just finding out all the recipes as we're going along. Hmm. Nope, I can't recall. Maybe I'm just getting old. You're not that old. <laughs> Thanks, but no worries, King. Some people might hate getting old, but I ain't one of them. Cause to me, it's proof that you're living. Anyhow, if I remember anything, I'll let you know. Yes, please do. What a storm. Got someone to beat? I'm supposed to be home by now. My youngest has just finished all her makeup exams. Makeup exams? Yeah. We found out that for some reason, or other, she's been neglecting the studies. So, let's just say I had a few things to say about that. How'd it go? It was a disaster. Oof. But she pulled through in the end, right? Yep. Except, we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. Sorry to hear that. 
Anyway, the missus planned to celebrate a little tonight, making all the kids' favorite dishes, having her sisters over for dinner and all that. So I'm buying the dessert pies as an olive branch of sorts. Sounds like a good plan. But as you can see, I got no pies and I'm nowhere near home because of the storm. That and my car is busted. All the value cores removed from the tires deflated. What? How come? It just so happens my car is the latest victim of a vandalism spree. That's a whole nother thing going on. Rest easy though, we're on it. For now, I need to find a way to get home fast. You can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me to have no questions, which is true. I have a lot of questions. I want to learn more about this fantasy Seattle world. Holy. Let's hear who it is. By Zeus, what a disaster. Welcome. Hey, what's shaking? Evening, Pops. What's up? <laughs> Thunderstorms, obviously. Touche. Gods. Isn't the weather just awful? It's like someone up there doesn't care about what water bill is. Oh, whoops. It's like someone up there doesn't care about their water bill or something. I'm glad you're open though, else I'll be super stoked by now. You made it just in time. Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up? That'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas by the way. And you are? My name is King. Branded, that's branded by the way. And the gentleman over there here is Officer Georgie. Awesome! Nice to meet you, Pops. Can I just call you Pops? Fine by me. Sweet! Uh-oh. Mrs. Colin. Ah. Alright, be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. See ya! So, he's a new character. I haven't met Lucas before, so this is a nice little change of pace. Can I get a cafe latte? Sure. Or maybe not. Yes? You know what? I'm not sure. You tell me. You're the pro. Um, okay, okay. Hear me out. You see, I used to like coffee. Heck, I love espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. Like, really hate it. You know what I mean? Right. Anyway, milk help takes the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and, like, and the likes. But I still miss just coffee, you know? That's why I'm wondering if you could suggest me something. What is it about coffee that you miss? The caffeine, of course. And just the overall boldness, you know? What I mean? Am I making sense? Have you ever tried matcha? Nope. Yeah. But isn't that just green tea? Yes, but more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Then one matcha for me, please. I wonder how this is going to translate as I'm editing. We already know what matcha is, we just saw it. I, I wonder if my voices are going to sound at least a little bit different as I'm editing. Um, we'll, we will see. There's nothing to give. Okay. A cup of premium matcha coming up. Mmm, man, super green, huh? Let's try it. What do you think? You know what? It's pretty good. It is a little grassy, though. 
But I kind of like it. I'm glad it's to your taste. I wasn't sure if you'd enjoy it as is. Why wouldn't I? Some people find the taste a bit too intense when it's served straight like this. Well, good thing I like intense. Because it makes up for the whole fact I'm not. I'm really not. Anyway, looking forward to your future recommendations from now on. I'll try my best. So, does anyone ever come here? What do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop to my post, right? But there's, like, no trace of your place anywhere. No tags, no mentions, nothing. What's up with that? Oh, maybe our crowd isn't as big as your usual coffee shop since we open quite late. That makes sense. What time do you guys close anyway? We're open until morning. For reals? That's pretty heckin' late. You turn into a secret bar after like 2 a.m. or something? If we did, Officer Georgie over there would have a few things to say about that. What? That's no fun. Are you guys on social media at all? Not the coffee shop itself, no. A late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey, that means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course. Say as long as you like. Sweet. Thanks. I'll give you a shout out on my stories if you want. Your stories? Yep. Here, let me show you. He took the photo and posted moments ago. That was fast. Oh. I was going to tag your place here. I do have an account there. But I haven't seen this feature before. Oh yeah, it's a pretty new thing on Toba to Chill. Huh. You can check on people's updates now. Just open the stories tab on your app, your phone once in a while. <laughs> Better check it daily though, because the stories only last a day. Who knows, maybe you'll find some juicy info on your customers there. That's a bit... Hey, I'm just saying. People will post anything. Kidding. I'm usually more active on my tube channel anyway. But hey, since you're here, you want to tag you? Wait, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but hey, since you're here, want me to tag you instead? <laughs> no, thank you. But I'm curious. What do you do exactly? Before we get into that, let's check his story since he already posted that. Already 9,624 likes. a nice uh, cover art right there. Oh. Nice profile. Filling up your timeline 24-7. Your post already seemed like to have a lot of reaction for a new feature. Right? I guess you could call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts. I report on the hottest trends, on the hottest people, on the hottest places, and everything else is in between. Wow. Does that mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? Do you want it to be? Sure. For the right price you can. Oh, never mind then. Just kidding. My manager decides what I endorse. They help keep me on brand, so to speak. Since they said I could get too crazy sometimes. Whatever that means. Oh, lordy. Eh? 
Welcome back, pops. Thanks. Is everything all right? Kind of. Mrs. is not happy. Maybe I should try calling the cab. What do you think? I'd save my minutes if I were you, pops. Not good, huh? Been calling them a while. I was still on the lookout earlier. One and a half hours later, here I am. There were no cabs around my station either. You try ordering online, Pops? Did you not see my phone? The only order I could do is no is no noms from around the corner of my house. Touche! Well, on the bright side, our power seems to be stable for now. Well, I retracted my statement. <laughs> for what it's worth, it held out much longer than I expected. You're right. Want to borrow my lighter then, King? A tempting offer, but no thank you. I'm going to check on something, though, so I'll be right back. Sure. Good luck. Hey, you alright? Yeah, yeah, everything's peachy. I just... <laughs> I just don't like being in the dark so much. What, you afraid of the dark, kid? D duh, you, you never know what might jump out of you. But we're in a room. Still, don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I do night patrols all the time. If I can grab them, I can handle them. In theory. I don't know how I feel about that at all. Uh-huh. D did you hear something? What? I swear I just heard something just now. Holy f Whoa! <laughs> if they are traumatized. She's new. I like her fiery hair. She looks like, um, like a, a ghost or like a ghoul. He's, he looks like a ram or like a satyr. Or Surter, I think. Uh, hi. I suck at doing girl voices, so I'm I'm letting you guys know now. I'm back. Sorry about that. Everything should be good for now. Oh, great. Welcome. Can I place my order? Of course. What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have all the usual fare. Coffee, tea, herbal drinks. I like something soothing for my throat and for my mind. Oh, is she a banshee, maybe? Maybe a banshee? Tough day at work? If you have no particular drink in mind, mind if I suggest trying our new blue pea latte? Blue pea latte, hmm? Could you make it pretty? I'll try my best. Okay. One blue pea latte with art, please. I suck at art. This is gonna be bad. Um, do I know a blue tea latte? No. Blue pea with milk um, and milk, maybe. I'm assuming. There we go. Okay, latte art. Let's pour the milk. Pour the milk. Make a smiley face. This is awful. Uh, 
like gear five Luffy, right? You know? It looks like the Pringles man. I think it looks like the Pringles man. Here's a side by side comparison. Yeah. For sure it looks like the Pringles man. Not like a weird little Markiplier or anything. Thank you for winning. Here you go. Oh lord. It's blue. Yes. But rest assured, it's all natural. I see. It's pretty. Hmm. How do you like it? It's good. Thank you. You're very welcome. Is the power okay now? Yes, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now we can just wait until the storm's over. Well, about that. You said the storm will go on until midnight. As at the very least. What? Would have been nice if I had my car. There are several road closures due to the flooding also. Well darn. So basically, we're, you're saying we're stuck. I'm afraid so. At least for a little while. <laughs> I'm in deep trouble. What's wrong with your car, Pops? Yeah, you didn't even finish explaining it earlier. I have questions. <laughs> I didn't want to alarm you, King. His tires got flat. For real? Yep. There's been some vandalism going around recently. Somebody keeps removing valve cores and deflating tires from parked cars around the West Precinct. Huh. Why? Maybe someone's a collector. We got too much time on the hands, no clue yet. Anyhow, our station lot was getting raped. So, a few of us had to park outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone's cars get affected too, Pops? Nope. Just mine. Oh. That's so weird. You're so chill about it. Yeah. Maybe because there's no real damage done, other than wasting my time. And my co-workers aren't so cool about it. The recent mass resignations have left us severely understaffed. Additionally, companies are moving away due to the tax hike. So, there are protests happening. Just like real life. Which means tensions are high all around. Just like real life. Art imitates life. That doesn't sound good. Don't I know it. Anyway, we caught the culprit in CCTV. So I'll be looking into it starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier in the meantime. Could it just be a pink pops? You think so? Yeah. With what's been going on lately, the suspicion would land elsewhere, right? So the culprit may think they won't get caught. Are you speaking from experience? If I say yes, would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. <laughs> Harsh. But I'm serious. Prank videos are their own genre online, you know. People watch that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. It's all about cheap thrills, Pops. A good way to make money, too, if you play your cards right. Oh? The crazier your shtick is, the more views you get. Which means more ad money. Lather, rinse, repeat. Till you push them just a bit too far. Then you get the nuke and everything will just go. Poof. 
and disappear. Won't stop anyone from doing it all over again though. Cause really, all you need is to get started with a camera, phone, and Wi-Fi. Everything else comes down to the timing and luck. Which is kind of true. That's kind of very true. I'm recording this right now. I don't know who's going to see it, but we'll see. You sure know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. Oh no, my manager would kill me. Joking. Anyhow, a high risk, high reward opportunity with a low entry barrier. Sounds like something else. Oh yeah, anything goes for views. Honestly, that's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Oh? It's a long story. I've been waiting to change the direction of my show for a very long time now. What's wrong with it? Well, the reviews are declining, for one. Why, not enough pranks? Harsh. Nah, I haven't done these things in a long time. Not that I ever want to get back into it. Anyways, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. Because people don't like change. That's right. Yeah, they get bored easily too. Today, Today's good might be trash tomorrow. So it feels like I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. Yeah. That, that's also true. You make it sound like the continuity of your work depends on the audience whims, kid. I guess you could say that, which is... Damn, this is this is very hefty for a game. Hi. Pardon? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I was unable to avoid hearing you, overhearing you. It's alright, I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? Do you think the audience is always right? Of course not. Then why place so much emphasis on what they want? Why must you follow their whims? I mean... It all comes down to numbers, right? A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even 10. Or a hundred, still doable. But the influence, the opinion of thousands, millions? Not so easy. So my belief is, if you can't fight them, join them. Then change things slowly from the inside out. There's no way it can work. No. Why do you think that? My apologies for not providing context. You don't need to. I'm just curious. Considering I intruded, it is only fair. I admit that I am not a big fan of online activities. I find people's conduct their people's conduct their very lonesome, loathsome. That's a strong word. Two years ago. I uploaded my singing reel online in preparation for my audition as a soprano. A soprano? Really? That's cool. Can I see it? I took it down. No, why? I believe she's getting to that kid. Right, okay. It was something done out of necessity, I recorded the reel using my phone at home, as I have no previous theater experience to show. It was not the highest of quality, I admit. Even so, I did post it to a video site, mainly to add the links to my applications, though I am not sure if it helped at all as my attempts have yet to yield results. 
Right. However, one day my application received an unexpected response from an audition. It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What they say? They highly recommended that I moderate my video comment section. So I checked. It was a lot. What happened? The comment section was teeming with plenty of strong opinions. If they can even be called that. What? There were a lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and take down my video because they didn't want to get cursed or die yet. What's with that nonsense? Others questioned my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice. Many others also wanted to know who and where my handlers was. Since there's no such thing for a sentience for us banshees, I suppose. I knew she was a banshee. It's the hair and the, the pale skin that gave it away. That's real left up. That's horrible. Even with the Vindication Act in place, those POS still exist, huh? The Vindication Act? A globally treated a global treaty to recognize and set the sentency. Jesus. A global treaty to recognize the sentiency and rights of non sapiens. Sapiens refers to any species that is intelligent or in bipedal. Like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings, you know the type. Huh. Yeah, like even us satyrs got added pretty late into the game, you know, too. I knew he was a satyr. I know my fantasy stuff. I am on point. I am on point. Oh. Well, shouldn't you fit the bill right away? Yeah. But we're all born male. And we didn't really have the best reputation either. Anyway. It took a while for us to finally get recognized. <sighs> anyway, it took us a while for us to finally get recognized by international law. Since the further you are from the likeliness of the man's sex, the slower the process will be. So, I'm sure it's been a way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Still, doesn't make it right. But I get it now. Your disdain for the internet. I'm impressed you seem very chill about it. Chill. Do I look chill? Uh oh, the light. But how can you be chill when such a blatant disrespect is thrown in your face like that? Whoa! <laughs> Don't you wonder what gives them the right to be so vile? Who do they think they are? Pray tell. What do they feel when they commit such offensive acts? This music is slamming, by the way. The art is awesome. I love the comic strip. Do they deserve some sort of perverse pleasure of other suffering? The audacity. I can't. I can't. I see the enamity. 
the anon ano I cannot say that word. Anonymity. There we go. I see the anonymity of talking through screens. Has afforded people the comfort of disrespecting others without suffering a direct hit their face for it. Damn it! Not again. Just a second, please. O okay. Oof. Maybe she'll calm down now. She went hard. <laughs> ah, thank goodness. Hmm? Uh, why did he move, though? <laughs> it's just... What is going on? <sighs> Not right. The kind of behavior is just... Not right. I think my mouse, hold on. There we go. I'm sorry. I've gone too far. It's alright. I admit. I just don't want to hear that audience is always right because that means my dreams has run aground before I can even try. Hmm. How about if I help you? Hmm? Look, I can get what you're going through. As a satyr, I had to deal with plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down to justify their own inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you that you've got what it takes to turn the tables on them. How? Easy. You gotta sell yourself. Whoa, kid, slow down. I might be lax, but I still work for the law. No, Pops, not like that kind. Honestly, I don't know how people... I don't know how much... I don't know much about the opera scene. But I know sirens dominate a huge chunk of the soprano rows. Am I right? Yes. It's as if they were made for the role. Exactly. So, this is the case. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which means... No matter what you do or how hard you try, you'll always be an outlier. Therefore, if you just compete based on your skills alone, sorry to say this, but you probably won't make it. Wait, hear me out. You got one awesome thing all those sirens don't have. Hmm? A story. A uh, story? Yeah. Imagine. A banshee whose dreams of becoming a lead soprano. Or whatever it is you want to do on the stage. Pursuing her dream in the midst of all the sirens despite all the odds stacked against her. Isn't that a great narrative? But you haven't even heard my singing yet. Have you? I love to, of course, but honestly, it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter as much as you think. What? Our story is to get your. St Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Most people will just scoff because of their own dumb assumptions, which is exactly what we want, and then we'll blow the all their expectations away. I'm putting you on stage. What stage? And how? Don't worry. I have my ways. No matter how you sing, everyone will be surprised seeing you there. And that's when you'll get your time to really shine. What are you talking about? No. 
What? Why? I just want the chance to properly sing. To show them what I'm made of, regardless of what I am. I know, and I'm offering you a possible way in. No offense, but all of this sounds like you're just... It's as if you're just trying to sell a caricature of me. Of course not. No way. But ouch, that kind of hurt a little bit. Sorry for being rude. But I just don't know you. And you don't know me. So how am I supposed to consider everything you said? You don't even know my name. Well, if that's what's... Well, if what you've been doing had worked at all... I would have asked for your name already, don't you think? Hey. I don't know where you're going with that, but... I think you went too far, kid. What the hell are you talking about? Aw, oh, crap. Hey, look, I'm so... Storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Right. Thank you for coming, miss. Riona. I like that name. Miss Riona. We hope to see you again. Our conversation certainly took an odd turn. So, let me make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel few were actually intended for me. Take care. Have a safe trip. She's gone. Uh, sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't say, kid. This old man is still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh, man. Don't know what came over me, Pops. I get too hyped sometimes and lose my cool. Sorry, just a sec. My manager. The road closure is over. So he's picking me up now. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. By the way, do you need ride pops? I can drop you off wherever, no problem. Thanks, kid, but it's alright. I'm sure the cabs will start rolling over soon. Are you sure? Yep. Alrighty. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming. We hope to see you again. Yeah. Hey, King. Yes? No, it's nothing. Okay, then. See you soon, King. Pops. Have a safe trip. Well, that was a show and a half. No kidding. Feels like I'm ready to call it a day. <laughs> As soon as I get my cab, I'll get out of your hair, King. Oh, please. You know I don't mean it like that. Not gonna lie, though. Listening to those two got me thinking for a little bit. About? Me and my youngest daughter, Missy. Maybe I was too hard on her, but I don't know. When you're a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas. Or stopping them from taking things too far. It's always a fine line to tread for sure. Yup. Uh oh. It's the missus. You know what? I think I better go. At least if she hears the ring outside, she'll get less mad at me. Please try not to get sick. Kidding. But I do better go. But I better go though. You take care of closing, King. I'll do. Hope you get a cap soon. Thanks. See ya. Alright, that wrap it up for day one.
but I think I am going to call it also a day. Better clean up then. What? Huh? What's this? An old metal lighter with an interesting design carved on it. Hmm. Something must have forgotten. Someone must have forgotten this. But I keep it safe over here. It exudes an interesting feel. Hmm. Okay, now let's wrap up. Um. Okay, that's new. Stories leading on to different stories and people leading things to live lead on to different stories. Georgie did talk about a lighter, so maybe that's what it is. Okay. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. If you guys liked, oh wow, look at this meme. Wait, hold on. Hold on one second before I even wrap it up. Future of dating, how AI might steal your uh, potential mates with increasing sensitivity. Uh, sen I just said it earlier. Sentinacy, there we go. This I love this. This is such a. I'm gonna post a, a screenshot of it. This is such a classic meme. That's awesome. But yeah, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I I didn't realize how long one day was gonna be. It's a little different when you're kind of doing it on stream. But uh, yeah, I I think we learned some valuable information about some new characters. Um, we met Riona, and we met um, the Seder, which I already forgot his name. Lucas, that's his name. That's his name. Okay, yeah, Lucas. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so we met Riona and Lucas, which are two characters that are introduced in this game. Um, I did like the conversation they were having. Like, um, Lucas is saying you shouldn't give up, and um that if you can't make the world work in your favor in in well your appearance make something else work for you you know there's always new ways to just cheat the world into um showing your true self um and riona also makes a good point it sounds like um it's uh, it's really selling a version of herself instead of being transparent but when it comes to stuff online, it's like it's hard to be transparent. And at the same time, it's not. I, I think we all share a lot of private things on social media now because it we all feel so connected. That's the hardest part about being online It's like you feel connected so much to a point you get enveloped into these um, these structures and you feel comfortable where you uh share private things where you look at other people's relationship and gain sort of a parasocial relationship with these other people and it's it's honestly very interesting it's an interesting concept of how we as humans tend to just try to connect to anything or feel something relatable to somebody uh in terms uh to feel more um like you're not alone uh feel less lonely and i like that the start of this it talked about how we're in an age of loneliness and it's a nice little contrast compared to what's going on right now like we are going online to try to feel less lonely so i you know I, that's, it's, it's really interesting, but I guess we'll learn a little bit more in the next video. If you liked today's video, um, be sure to subscribe and follow for more. Tell me how I can do better on anything down in the comments below. And 
I hope you guys eat something today. I hope you guys get something to drink today, preferably water. If it is your birthday, happy birthday. Um, have a good day or night wherever you are at, and I will see you guys later. Deuces.